Well, we died. It's the, the uh, are you still alive? This is one of the greatest missions. Maybe it's because I used a bow, but it just feels so fun. This is it. Oh! Yes, uh, I'm afraid. Oh, sh Baby. Red Dead Redemption 2. We are back. I don't know how many episodes we got, but like, there's not that many. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing maximum three. If it's not this episode, it could be this episode. I don't know the title. I don't know what I'm about to do. I don't know what I'm about to play. You gotta let me know. Is this the last episode? No? All right. <laughs> I know you didn't like the video yet. Come on, dog. Please. Come on. Please. Do it for the sunny. Ah, <laughs> Come on. Hello. Come on. I am, as promised. Mr. Morgan. I forgot. I did say I was going to help him with something. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. We are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of the vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Tell me what you need me to do, bro. Dying of diseases? No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to Wapiti after coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. Uh, Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Oh, somebody's a little okay. angry. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. All right, I actually don't like the look of uh, Lil Squirt. I see why uh, we stopped riding him. Follow us. He you knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation. Maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. You cannot afford more conflict. Especially with Eagle Flies now in prison at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the vaccine. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know... Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. Dang. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. <clears throat> All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. 
You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Yeah. All I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. They shoot, I'm shooting back. I want that to be known. Hold it right. That Can I restart? Cause I, I there's def, there definitely was a better way to do that. I shot by accident. I'm just gonna ah, ah, ah. la 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 la. Um, what the heck? Uh, what the heck? Yo, I just broke the system. <laughs> what the heck? I ain't lose no honor for that either. I'm back with the medicine. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh. Wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Maybe I should take some. Oh, I'll take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Got you, bit all. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Is that Trelawney? What the heck? Trelawney having a mission right now is weird. If that horse is... No, I think I sold him. Yeah, I sold that horse. Dang, we got the rock with Bruce or something. I don't like having a brown horse. What? That sounds racist. I like having a black horse. See, now that that makes sense. <laughs> the horse either gotta be black or white. There is no in between, black or white. It's still, I don't even care about, bro, wait, actually, all my horses have died in stupid ways thinking about it. Only like the first couple died in like ways that like were really my fault. But at the, oh, I guess snow died. Was, the snow was my fault, but that was not my fault. Well, we died. It's the, the, uh, are you still alive? It's like, why did you go that way? I went to the left and he just started going right. This horse is suicidal, bro, chill. Your youthful bloom. It fades and it's a horror what's left. Don't be like that, Miss Grimshaw. I know how you girls laugh at me. I used to laugh at women just like me when I was young and pretty and sure of the world. We don't laugh at you, miss. You do. And you're right, too. I'm laughable. Pitiable, but it'll happen to you too. They'll stop looking soon enough, and that glass in your hand won't be so friendly neither. Tell her, Mr. Morgan. Uh, Tell her about time. I don't know too much about time, Miss Grimshaw. That's a bit beyond me. Mind yourself, Susan. Well, maybe I'll get lucky and die first. Uh Yes. Well, get to work! Oh, hey, Arthur. I left something for you by your tent. Just to stay tight for the harmonica. Now at all times? Thank you. What's with you? Are you gonna throw me out like Strauss? All right, buddy. Trelawney, you getting out of here? I hope so. I hope you do. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. It's the best. I'll see you soon. No, you won't. Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. 
I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Hope everybody does that. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Nah. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. Why aren't they allowed? feel with some non-tribe members present. Their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? I'm here. It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got I've it. saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. I've saved your life. <laughs> See, our horses went so good together, too. And now he did. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be... Re Maybe Charles, like, goes in with them. I'm not asking for very much. That's how he can live? People are sick and hungry. And we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld. How can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites... How can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. Be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain. Well, I'm not one of you guys. So if I was to kill him, it would just be, you know, Arthur Morgan. At least I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Arthur Morgan killed hundreds of army men. Why? I don't know. It's the Sunny D talking. Here we are. There's my men up ahead. Hello. Easy. We chase kill it now. Kola with Yampi. Heel Paul. This way. So it's good to see a friend. Hey. 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 All right. Bye. Bye. I usually keep them things on me, but right now, I'm perfectly fine with killing everybody with these two pistols. Colonel Favors, Captain Monroe, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Charles might. Saw him. Listen, Mr. Got down a man. <clears throat> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. I'm sure they do. 
Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <laughs> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made. <laughs> like everybody looking at me. In everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. <laughs> so, let me be very... <laughs> you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Reigns. That's, uh, <gasps> Reigns' fault. Exactly. Chief Reigns, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes <laughs> Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> treaty will grant you new lands. The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. I, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but He's shall. Bitch. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Then we had the opportunity to blow their heads off. You won't get away with this. Don't be dumb. Open fire on ah! Ooh, How is that me failing? I wasn't supposed to kill them. Look up behind Dang his hat. I can't shoot at these men. Yeah, we can. Look out, they're still coming. Man, please hold your fire. I'm gonna enjoy seeing you die. Wait, 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 wait. How did my guns get on my back? Okay. Come on. This isn't my pump. Whose pump is this? Wait, this is even my gun. Come on, Captain. Can you shoot? I can't do it. They're trying to kill you. I swore it off. Hat blown off. Find a load and make for the valley. Just hold. Favors wanted this to happen. He was meant 
to be a truce. Do I look like I care about some damn horses? That just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I'm bro. I, I singled him out. My report. I wouldn't think so. I singled him out and I shot him in the head and I failed the mission because of it. So how are you gonna get out of this situation, man? Like this train ain't, ain't gonna like do so much for you. Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death. <clears throat> For a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but... Whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain, but there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. Huh? But then, I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... 
I'm afraid. Oh, shit. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard. I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Oh, brother. This game sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, bro. I hope it's the TB that get me. Any one of these missions, I can get shot and die. I actually shot in like a cutscene. I get shot a lot in the game, but I mean like Arthur can get shot, shot, and just die. Arthur. King's son. All right, just gonna okay. Thank you for coming. Of course. Gotcha. The chief, he's a, uh, he's very. Maybe you could speak to him. Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Hey, dog. We gonna get your son back? We gonna kill everybody? I know you don't like it. Come in. But peace is an option I do not like picking. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. A little. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's mean. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more. That's treason. Well, that's why I want to play Assassin's Creed 3 on the channel, bro. Because it's like more. I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Let's save him. Come on, let's go. Go where? Get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. Perhaps. Are we allowed to kill Charles? I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Perfect. Look at my horse. Bruce is so beautiful. I guess we can, you know. Everybody say hello, Bruce. I'm not gonna get mad at you, you know. I've been scouting the fort. Be a nice person today. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. We start making a lot of noise. He'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> you know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe. He's helping himself. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's fall is in a tough situation. And as for Dutch, I gotta try. I own that at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. 
I know. Listen. That's how they get into me, man. I gotta use the bathroom. It goes bad in there. You get yourself out. You got more to lose. Oof. Almost killed him. Oh, come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. <laughs> well, it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. I don't have to deal with Dutch and bullshit anymore. Have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. You ready? Yes. Keep down and follow me. Deal with those two at the gate first. You take one, I'll take the other. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get around the back. Stick to the wall. Careful. There's a guard up there. Oh, I didn't realize we had masks on. didn't start a fire but I guess the Ryan this is the spot Missed, bro. The red, the, the dot was on his head. What is he got a shot on him? Good. Let's move. <sighs> Another one up ahead. Let's move. Come on. Wowzers. We gotta just take out the whole like wall then at that point.
Or we just stealth kill everybody. I like the idea of that. Damn it. There's more out front. And there's we'll people the going nowhere. See if you can cause a distraction. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. I don't know what he's talking about, but I figure out. While moving? Arthur Morgan? Charles? Is that you? You remember my last name? You have to get me out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table out there. You search the body. Dang, you kind of left like a whole yeah. dent in his head. Come on. <clears throat> Your father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, okay. Whoa! All right. Well, we started with a bow. We gonna finish it with a bow. We'll have to shoot our way out. I can't see anything. This is it. Oh! This is jailbreak. Where are you going? Where are you going? How did that one not hit? It's good. Already's got my hands. Over here. One of the walls was broken when they took me in. No. It's been sealed. Back up. Arthur, deal with this, would you? Yes, but how? I don't even need them to tell me. I don't need them to tell me. I don't need them to tell me. Come on, Bruce. Easy, boy. Easy. Here, come on. Get on. I got you. This way. Come on. I hit some canoes down by the river. Where? More of them coming from the road on the left. That hitting is insane. No way you can hit that, Arthur. You're different. Quick, down this way. Oh yeah, we're different. Oh yeah, we're a little different, you know? I do this, I do this on, you know, on the weekdays, sometimes Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, every day, don't matter what day, I'm gonna pick the new day. This is not the new way. Oh, oh my, they didn't know I was like that. They didn't know I was like that. Let's get down river as quick as we can. 
They'll pay for this. They'll wish they killed me when they had a chance. Let's just get you to safety first, my friend. It's like Dutch said. They only have power when you allow them to have it. Well, Dutch is a lot of things. Do you know the situation we're in, little boy? Oh, damn. Where's my other gun? This won't work. This sounds well. Watch yourself. The last thing we need is one of us going in. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me, then. Oh! Stop shooting me! We got more of them on the riverbank. I'm fine. Give me a gun. I can help. Just keep your head down. It's hard to aim with the boat moving like this. This is this is one of the greatest missions. Maybe it's because I used the bow, but it just feels so fun. That I don't know how that shot hit. Control up player. That's how it's gonna look like in Red Dead One, bro. That's gonna be the quote of the year if I play Red Dead One. Control up player. Uh, look at the flex. That's so fun doing flick shots. What's it called in the finals? Especially with the sniper rifle. Hit the little grappler hook. You know what I'm saying? Uh, golly. I don't see any more of them. Let's get over to the shore. That Sunny D is getting to me, dog. That Sunny D. <laughs> We lost them. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? No. I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? Thank you. No mention. That's my horse. Ain't that Bruce? Oh, that's not my horse. No, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Oh, brother. They gonna make me sit here and watch him cough again, bro. He was making me feel bad. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode off right here, man. If you did like the video, please do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm pretty sure next episode is gonna be the last episode. So make sure, I don't know. Make sure to be happy. Peace out.